Hi, I'm Shikha. You're watching this video from JustTutors.com. So today we are going to learn about rational number and their decimal expansion. So here it's a warm-up for you. What you can do, just pause the video, try these two questions. Assuming that you have done it, now we can discuss the answer. So here state whether the following rational number will have a terminating decimal expansion or a non-terminating decimal expansion without using long division. So it's 17 over 50. So here in denominator if you're going to do factorization of 50 you will get the form which is 2 raised to the power n times 5 raised to the power m that means this is terminating and in this one 35 over 210 first you're going to make the simplest form out of it then if you will see the denominator and factorize it you will not get the form which is 2 raised to the power n times 5 raised to the power m that means this is non-terminating so in this manner you will get the answer and if you got these two as the answer that's really wonderful and if you didn't understand this method don't worry because I'm going to teach you this method in this video so here first of all let us see what is decimal expansion so decimal expansion is the form of the number that has a decimal point either actual or implied and here rational decimal that ends with repeating 0 are known as finite decimal so we can see the example of terminating decimals here which is 6 over 3 that is 2 so you can make many more such example like you can write 12 over 6 so it's terminating decimal expansion is 2 here so in this one repeating decimal originate from fractions whose denominators are not entirely product of 2's and 5's only so let us see this example is 3 over 14 so it is a repeating decimal because 14 you can factorize and write as 2 times 7 so here the denominator is not entirely product of 2's and 5's only because I can see 7 there so this is repeating decimal so now let us move and see this theorem so here in this one let x be a rational number whose decimal expansion terminates so what are the condition for it then x can be expressed in the form of p over q where p and q are co-prime and the prime factorization of q is in the form of 2 raised to the power n times 5 raised to the power m where n and m are non-negative integers now in this one let x equals to p over q be a rational number such that the prime factorization of q is not of the form 2 raised to the power n times 5 raised to the power m where n and m are non-negative integers then x has a decimal expansion which is non-terminating and repeating so it's all depend on this form if you got this form in denominator it is terminating and if you will not get this form it's non-terminating so you will have more clear idea about it if you will try some questions so let us see these questions here which of the following rational number have the terminating decimal representation so here 7 over 50 so it's already in simplified form so we are going to look for denominator that is 50 here so 50 if you're going to factorize you will get this and I can see this form so I got the form which is 2 raised to the power n times 5 raised to the power m that means this is terminating decimal expansion and in this one 6 over 13 so the only prime factor of 13 is 13 that means you cannot express this in the form of 2 raised to the power n times 5 raised to the power m that means 6 over 13 has non-terminating decimal expansion so with this now we can move to a practice question and here let us see what is it so again we need to state whether the following rational number will have a terminating decimal expansion or a non-terminating repeating decimal expansion without using long division so here we are going to try number 1 17 over 1600 so it is in simplified form so what we are going to do here look at the denominator just factorize it and you will get the form that is 2 raised to the 2 raised to the power 6 times 5 raised to the power 2 so since we got the form which is 2 raised to the power n times 5 raised to the power m that means this is terminating so now what you can do just pause the video try rest of them assuming that you have done it now you can see your answer and check them from this slide 
and if you got them correctly that's really wonderful you can call your parents and show your progress to them so here thank you for watching the video for more please visit justtutors.com